<laughs> Colton Wong, I to get to know these guys right now. Colton Wong joining us right now, just signing a deal with the Milwaukee Brewers, two years, $18 million, a former St. Louis Cardinal. Colton, it's Brian Kenny with Dan Plesak and Al Leiter. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Um, you tell me. At, uh, we were pretty stunned when we saw that you weren't going back to the Cardinals, that it cut mm -hmm. you loose. What were your thoughts as to what were they thinking? How did they communicate with you? What happened? Um, man, it was just, you know, free agency, I think. And, you know, during COVID times, obviously, um, you know, the money situation played a big role in, in everything going on. And, um, you know, I guess, I mean, hey, they kind of upgraded. You know, they got Arenado, so... You know, good luck to them, man. And I'm just excited for my next opportunity with the Cardinals. Obviously, I mean, with the Brewers. <laughs> Obviously, I've been with the Cardinals for my whole career, man. So, you know, the ability to play with this team that I've been able to play against and, you know, play well in that stadium. I'm excited for this opportunity. Yeah, Colton, that letter here. Congratulations on your two-year deal. But, hey, take, take me a little bit about – I know this winter was not a normal winter, but uh, as a free agent, were there other teams? And if so, why did you pick the Brewers? Yeah, you know, there was a decent amount of teams that reached out to us right away. Um, as soon as I hit free agency, you know, phone kind of rang off the hook for a little while. And then, you know, you kind of hear that same story, how it goes quiet for a little while. And then, you know, the real teams kind of show up. And, you know, so there was a few teams left at that, at, you know, my choice. And I felt like the Brewers was home. You know, I just felt like I did really well at that field. Um, I felt like I knew the Central pretty well. And I was able to, you know, put up some good numbers. So I'm excited to be with this team. Obviously, I know they're a really good team. They made the playoffs the past couple of years. And, you know, really exciting young bunch of guys. So I'm excited to join up and see what I can do. Colton, you're in Arizona right now. This will be your first spring training in Arizona. Are you looking forward to it? I am. I am. Obviously, being from Hawaii, you know, Arizona's, you know, the closest trip you can get. So it's nice to be this close. Uh, obviously, family, you know, they're not going to be able to come right now, but everyone's excited for me to be here. Uh, I'm excited to not have to drive four hours for one spring training game. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of, you know, pluses right now. You know, Colton, you always hear from players when they hate the defensive metrics. Uh, what is it like when the def defensive metrics love you? Because you are you are the number one guy at the position at second base the last three years. How much do you dig into that and see that and see those numbers? Um, you know, not really digging into that too much. Obviously, you know, numbers play a big role in the game today. But I just love, you know, being a guy who can play on all sides of the field. You know, obviously, you know, coming up, I was kind of known for my hitting in college and whatnot, and then. Uh, when I first got to the big leagues, you know, Jose Okendo challenged me to win a gold glove. And, you know, I took that as kind of, you know, challenge and a personal challenge of mine. And uh, yeah, I just fell in love with, you know, becoming really good defensively. I fell in love with turning dope plays, uh, making this spectacular play and just, you know, making some kind of art out of defense. It's been fun and it's been a really cool transition. You know, I, I'm curious to peel that back because I know you've said that about Jose Akendo, an excellent infielder and infield coach with the Cardinals. But, you know, I saw you in 2010 with Orleans, and I know you were a shortstop in, in college. You played second base there up in, uh, with the Firebirds. Specifically, you've been in the big leagues, what, eight seasons now, but you have now back-to-back -back goals. What was specific things that you had worked on to get these gold gloves? Yeah, I think it was the little things. Uh, you know, obviously, I didn't play second base until my sophomore year in college. So there was a lot of things I had to learn. You know, it was just kind of going to the fundamentals, uh, really honing that in and then kind of adding my flair to it. You know, that was the one thing Jose was always, you know, on me about it. He's, he's like, you know, I know you like to do the flair stuff and the slides and, you know, all these jump throws, but we need to make sure that you're fielding the routine ground balls and you're doing it well. So, you know, it just went from doing the routine things right. And, you know, once I kind of got my, you know, own little – flair on that uh just made it my own uh, that's been kind of the biggest thing you know colton uh, the ballpark in miller park you have the tractable roof did the ballpark play a big role in your decision to go on where you elected to sign yes ab absolutely i mean like you said you know i feel like i've had pretty good numbers in miller park and that, that park is a very fun park to play in as well as hidden so you know i'm trying to see what i can do offensively as well um, you know, obviously everybody knows St. Louis as, you know, a pitcher's park. It's, it's one of the toughest parks, I think, to hit in, you know, just because the gaps aren't big, but the ball doesn't fly. So, you know, I'm excited to play in a park that I know I have success in. I know I'm going to bring my confidence with it, and, you know, hopefully I can add some offense to my defense and make me a full-rounded player. I call it one last thing. We were just talking about the new, uh, you know, health guidelines and the protocols, safety protocols for uh, baseball. Um, what is it like? You know, you're going to be going into kind of a bubble atmosphere, very limited uh, access to the rest of the world, to teammates, yeah. socially, and that sort of thing. What's the mindset going into spring training for that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about work. You know, I think last year gave us a good taste of what it's going to be like, you know, not having fans or having very minimal fans. So, you know, it's just all about going there competing and, and throwing the best that you can be out there. 
And, uh, you know, that was the one thing I learned is, man, it, it's the most pure form of competition when there's no fans out there cheering you on. Mm. You know, it's you against the pitcher. It's you against the other team. And you're just trying to see who's better. And you're trying to pr- prove that you're better every single day. And I think that's the biggest thing, man, is after, you know, you kind of get over the fans not being there. It's all about baseball and uh, pure baseball at its finest. Wow. That's sounds like you could focus. Would you have been all right with that? No. I, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that you could the birdie. Well, yeah. There's the birdie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different. Hey, Colton, again, best of luck with Milwaukee, your new club and everything else, and, and spring training and getting through everything safely. Thank you.